take to knock this man down. They're fighting among the fans here. This is a church. It's a church for heaven's sakes. Watch out. Oh, no. because he's getting inside of this ring against a massive man. The Crescent City Saints, Mike Bradley, accompanied by Steve And now we have the opening of the church and we will have a sermon and C-Red will be praying and I think that the Crescent City Saint Mike what he did in 2016, interfering in the Southland Championship Wrestling Heavyweight Championship match was nothing in comparison to what he has plans on doing this year. And in his first match of this year, he will confront Chris Miller. See Red, at one time the manager of the Soul Touches, Marche Rockets manager. He left Marche Rocket, and now he has a new and a very agile and unpredictable one at that. The Crescent City St. Mike Bradley. So now the odds are pretty much stacked up against Miller. And uh, you know, what Miller did earlier to Andy Black, you gotta expect there to be some sort of repercussions. But Johnny Wild is here just in case to make sure that Miller gets a fair shake against Mike Bradley tonight. Roots are finally official for this one. Southland Championship Wrestling's future stars. It's heavyweight action. And Bradley immediately attacks Chris Miller, sending him crashing over the top rope to the outside among the first row of chairs. And Bradley flies off the ring apron with a flying body attack. That forearm attacking the spine. And Bradley's not here to talk about it. He's here to blast this man as hard as he possibly can with every single one of his joints, from his knuckles to his knees to his elbows. And Miller with a baseball slide drop kick has responded to Bradley. And Miller's gonna take a chance as he flies, flying shoulder block. Mike Bradley still on his feet. What will it take to knock this man down? They're fighting among the fans here. This is a church. It's a church for heaven's sakes. Watch out, oh no. Head first into that steel rod, that support holding this building together. And this whole building almost came crumbling down as a result of the impact that Miller's head took into that solid object. Oh, Bradley chopping the daylights out of Miller. And C Red is, is actually praying for more abuse. What kind of man is this guy? This isn't right. This is a this is against anything that's holy or unholy. It doesn't make sense. Oh my! Bow and arrow stretch using that ring post for extra leverage. And notice Bradley breaks the referee's count. Gospel will go forth in the church. The self-righteousness, the true emphatic experience, and the confession. And I think the confession here tonight is that Miller made a mistake earlier tonight, and he should not have interfered in that match with Andy Black. Well, that's none of my business. You see Red continues to issue the words of warning. Check this out. Miller 
Taylor trying to fight back. Oh, my. Over the shoulder, belly to belly, suplex drop. And now Bradley is blasting the holy daylights out of Chris Miller right here. And he's putting that boot right into the throat as well. Talk about shaking up Southland. He did so in the Lunatic Marche match, causing the no contest last year at Alamania. But size matters. Six feet, five inches tall, 300 plus pounds. C Red has made this man recognize the true colors and has mentored this man to a new height of dominance. And this new protege, Mike Bradley, has evil intentions as he's got all this weight draped along Miller in the middle of his back with that right knee. And look at C Red! C Red right here, completely getting involved in the match. And Wilde came around the corner. But the truth is, C Red saw him and he moved quickly, and Tafato didn't see a thing. The agility of this man, Mike Bradley, is also very impressive. A heavyweight in these parts with some of the most amazing agility out of anyone I've ever seen in a ring before. Elbow drop to the chest and the shoulder. Prepare to be shocked, prepare to be humbled. C Red says we have not even seen a majority of what Mike Bradley can deliver in this ring to a multitude of opponents. Chris Miller got eliminated by Bradley in the Christmas Bash Battle Royale. Cost Chris Miller a heck of a lot of money in the process. And Miller is having a fit and he's gonna take it out on somebody and it might as well be Mike Bradley right here. Watch out, big crushing lariat there. And Mike Bradley has such amazing power and reach in those arms. Miller can't seem to handle it. The pressure is mounting for Miller, and Miller time hasn't even gone all of the starting blocks yet. It was the sneak attack at the start of the match that slowed Miller down in the first place. Six-time manager of the year, Johnny Wilde, has led Chris Miller on the path towards a lot of good results for himself and his career and his future. And Miller refuses to stay down, but he has more enemies than friends, and that's a problem in these parts. He wants to fight until the very, very end. And his issues with American Lucha are now compounded by the fact that he's in the ring against this hard-hitting slugger, Mike Bradley. Power in both the left and the right hand. And Miller stumbling and falling all over the place. And here we go again. C Red getting involved. And Wild there, he's got his own cane right there for support. Maybe you can classify that as an illegal foreign object. But Wild is legally allowed to be at ringside. He has a managerial license, but so does C Red. And what a sickening foot on that slam as Bradley walks all over. Saw a press attempt, but he missed. He misjudged the, the leap in the air, and a grazing attack did a little bit of damage to that left arm. And both men are struggling to get to their feet at this point. Miller knows the tag team goal was not in reach. He wants to test his skills against the heavyweight, and he gets to do it here right now. Time, but we might not see it at this rate. Look at Miller, he got the boot up as he stands first on the second rope. Watch out, cross body block, and he caught him in midair. What power! He couldn't try to take him down. Nice counter, got over the shoulder, running clothesline, couldn't do the trick. Bradley's been rocked twice, he's still standing. Bradley swings and misses the shoulder block. How many strikes will it take? It's already four running attacks. Miller again from an elevated distance. Shoulder block again. Five in a row. Five strikes and he can't take the man down. The six, the boot does some damage. Uranagi side suplex slam blocked. Bradley holding down the body weight. He can't hit that designated driver on this man. He's too big. Oh, rolling neck breaker by Bradley and both men are hurt. 
But Bradley recovers, gets a penalty attempt, and can't put Miller down. You know, Miller would love to attack the limbs of Bradley and go for that cross face, but we gotta be very careful against this man because he has a lot of strength in his legs. He might be going for that moonsault press. Oh, he attacked him from behind. Miller going after the back of Bradley as he's trying to go for that backdrop suplex off the second rope. They all fall backwards. And all the impact to the back of both men's heads and both men are down. Miller trying to recover. Rolls him over. Puts the outside leg. And Bradley escapes. And Miller will bear a lot of frustration, a lot of determination. And the fans clearly are in support of Miller in this fight. And it is a fight. See red on the ring apron. The distraction now. What is this? Andy Black has resurfaced, and he's trying to get an angle here. A swing and a miss by Andy Black, and Miller boots him down. Remember, Miller interfered in Andy Black's match against Jake Andrews earlier. Watch out! Oh, my! Side Uranagi suplex slam. He dropped him on the back of his head. Bradley has won this match. What a devastating outcome! Superstars has won and won in very impressive fashion. But Miller would not stay down for the count. It was only after that distraction. Oh, come on! He already took the damage. Stop it! See, Red has prevented Kutsafano from getting involved. And then that big spine tingling neck breaker has done additional damage. And fans are trying to show their support for Miller, trying to say stop it. But Bradley hears other fans saying do it again. And Bradley will not follow anyone else's orders but C. Reds. Mike Bradley in Monique, Illinois has rocked and silenced this crowd in a big time way. Wow. The fans have never seen a force like Mike Bradley before as strong and as, as dominant as what we have just witnessed. Mike Bradley, keep that name in mind. He is the future of Southland Championship Wrestling and all of pro wrestling. And Miller gave it his all in a losing effort. But obviously, the strays have had conflicts in the past. And at some point, Miller will have to get his hands on Andy Black in the future.